in this game, Dalina is definitely taking up the mid lane. Yeah, so this will be a side lane. He's going to die to the Bane and the Mirana. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not so sure about this last pick. The Necrophos is doing equally well in the top lane. Uh, Shin Q is currently top this yes board. 15 and 3. That's pretty impressive against an Ursa. Envy getting pressured under the tower. They glyph for this too. And Tiny's coming in. That is a smart glyph. Usually you save your glyph to be able to win the mid lane, but this is a great opportunity for them to put pressure onto Eternal Envy. They are stun. gonna be able to get him with the avalanche. Slow him down. The death pull should be enough to finish him off. That's gonna be your first blood. Shin Q picks it up on Eternal Envy. Envy going down early. Uh oh, nice leap into an arrow. That was a cute little play from Universe. XCJ couldn't get there in time to be able to block he it. He might just juke it into the trees. Might just juke it into trees, but that's a dead end, my friend. And they will trade one for one now. Is the top. here in the jungle right now. He really wants to make sure they can't actually steal that. PYW does manage to get it, gets the AoE stun onto the birds, but they're trying to target Shin Q. He pops a Ghost Shroud to prevent, protect himself a little bit. Now the Lena on the other side does manage to hit up on the Bane. Reaper's side will manage to get all that off there. He's getting a little bit of heal off of the Death Pole stacks, fortunately, and that just means Fnatic is going to have a hard time killing him. And they're going to try and go for the familiar. Instead, they find too many heroes of Serenity. Gonna be a 4k gold lead. Bounty runes right now. Fnatic still posturing forward. Universe is going to throw an arrow to try and protect it. LSA goes out, and they do manage to get a really good slowdown there. See, from the Phoenix, Will Scepter goes off to be able to dodge a lot of damage. That just set up the tiny millions, but he keeps on missing the sun. PYW, a beautiful setup, but it's not good enough. The Supernova already up. They have to retreat. With Alina dead, they have very little damage left. So Fnatic, they do manage to win this initial fight, but PYW, He's he does have it. another opportunity with that blink. They're going to go for the Old Scepter from Shin Q, slowing down this Vintage. Oh, now nice he jumps in the Familiars. They jumped in. They managed to it's done with the follow-up arrow. The, the, the this Reaper Sight is not going to be good enough. They completely with that one. Now, maybe, just maybe, with GGG, they will be able to pick up one kill, and that's Universe is out of leap charges. But still, a decent exchange there for Fnatic in the end, going one for two. He's just going to reset into farming a little bit. 2k gold lead. Still a relatively even game here for either side. And the smoke attempt from PYW. PYW does manage to grab Highlight Eye once again with the ensnare into the arrow. They just keep on focusing this bait, but they're going to trade off significantly here. PYW has a lot more farm than Highlight Eye. True to his name, he just keeps on dying over and over again. So you manage to trade off a little bit more gold. Kind of see that. Helps him against the Fire Spirits as well, right? When the A goes down, get rid of that attack speed slow. And everyone should have a BKB in this type of game. Yeah. Does that include the Necrophos? Do you think he's going the right build? Uh... Centaur stun, oh, nice double centaur stun. The LSA arrow follow up. Late for that one. And GGG just gets blown up. XEJ, he's going to be next on the firing line. Is Abed is able to take him down. The Soul Assumption just doing too much work, and Fnatic roll up. They finally see an opportunity. It feels like the first time that Fnatic get a clean win in this game after 19 minutes, and they're going to utilize that to get even more. They're going to go for the objective in Roshan. Yeah, and Radiant are going to scan successfully, but not a whole lot that they can do about this. Still two heroes dead. Serenity, they're thinking about this, but it's going to be way too late. Yeah, it's not like Fnatic was trying to hide that Roshan attempt whatsoever. Fully completed now. Fnatic, this is what we were talking about. Mid-tower with the Aegis. You need to be able to grab this. Serenity, you don't want to give this up for free. There's no pressure being applied on the side lanes. Universe is going to connect to the rest of his team. Look this at should be the big fight. He feels like he's so tanky. And he might be right. The Gold Scepter being used on an Enraged Ursa. That was not the initial action in the middle of everyone. The, the Supernova. He does manage to go throw down for the BKB. Activated with GGG with a flat cannon. Does manage to take oh, that this out. Is, this is and now, Fnatic just falling apart now. This best of one. They get all wiped. And Aegis come back here for Eternal Envy's Ursa. But he's got nowhere to run to. He can't flank out. That is six people dead. Try to find a core here. PYW leading the way. His smoke is going to pop first. He blinks the wrong direction. Universe is able to leap away. Arrow misses there. DJ's on the side. They spotted out with the death pulse. Eternal Envy's going to be found here. PYW, oh, he may gone. not have caught uh, Universe, but Eternal Envy goes down instead. Highlight die. Sleep. Sleep onto the Necro. No arrow, though. And again, hard hero to kill. Jinkyu you going to poke his head into the Roshan pit are going to go for a three-man smoke. 
Are they gonna stumble into the Roshan attempt? They're gonna throw out the arrow. Oh, the arrow hits. JQ, that's pretty good. He's at half HP. They may just try and get this one. XCJ, he's gonna try and stop someone. He's stop Twilight Dive for being able to get Fiend's grip, but it's still enough to be able to take out Shin Q. But now, Fanatic has to start retreating. XCJ, a little bit tight in the They do manage to get a Nightmare out on Selena, trying to set up on him, but he managed to get off the BKB before the birds drop. Now, PYW comes in and just starts beating down PYW. And uh, he's, he's got the Bastion. Supernova already going down. He does manage to get the Bastion coming in, but it's not enough to be able to win that fight. But maybe on the Lena, it's almost enough. The Reaper Scythe is not enough to be able to stop him from killing the Lena. And now Shin Q has to start backing away from Eternal Ambly with no go shot up for three seconds. They do manage to get the stuns. He gets a little bit of a spirit pistol. Shin Q is still surviving though. And Fnatic retreat back to their shrine. GGG threatening them with the missiles. But Fnatic underneath the shrine will feel like they can still reset. NV buys out his BKB. This is the big fight. Serenity, they need to grab a Rax here. YW just goes for the quick kill onto Pylai Die. DJ comes in, does manage to hit some pretty good fire spirits. Throws out the Supernova now. That's why GGG goes in. They need to be able to get the back to protect the Supernova. And it's not good enough. GGG may die, but that's just going to be the Aegis. And there is going to be no go down. The is doing pretty good, but Envy still ends up falling. Abed gets some really good control, but there's just no damage to follow it up. It's Universe has already blown his BKB. They're going to finish off the familiars and probably take the lane of Rax as well for the big high ground hit. There's that three homing missile charges now for GGG. Now they're starting to pressure the high ground. For Fnatic, this might just be do or die. Moonlight shadowed up. They already have the sentries in place to be able to spot any attempts. Nightmare. Arrow. Placed on the GGG. He the arrow anyway. actually lands on him, but Eternal Envy, he took some damage there, so couldn't actually blink initiate at the right time. Slowly but surely, maybe not so slow, PYW does a lot of damage onto that tier three. So Fnatic, they've got to come up with a response and fast. Otherwise, they will no longer have that tier three to rely on. Shin Q takes a lot of damage there. There goes that uh, Aeon Disney will be able to protect them. The Supernova goes down, but they get the Fiend's grip onto the jar. Comes to the Supernova, still dies from ZYD. He managed to focus that on the back line. The universe tried to go for the assassination attempt on Selena. Couldn't quite get it and dies instead. He does have a bind back, but he's holding on to it now as he sees that his team is successfully repelling Serenity. And they're still five man strong right now. They've got the refresher on a Shin Q. And they've already popped that, so they've got a second round of the Aeon Disc. Jump in from PYW. He jumps and tries to get the Eternal Envy. He to get the Lugo to play. There goes the Eternal Envy. There comes the buyback. And Reaper Scythe cuts down the Phoenix with no buyback either. He's dead for two minutes. And Arrow comes out. Another swing and a miss there from Fnaticus. They just seem to have no lockdown. Pylai die. He's just going to die to fly cannon shots. Not like this, Fnatic. A lane of Rax gone. Serenity. They see one more to go, and they will have Megas, and they'll probably have the game in the bag. Fnatic, if you get Mega here, that might just be all their hopes and dreams. Trying to jump in immediately. You'll accept their from CYD, stopping Eternal Envy. He tries to turn, but he can't really go on Shin Q. He's already going to try it, so he goes for UIW, but he's the last man standing. Eternal Envy calls it GG from Fnatic. Team Serenity will move on in the international, and Fnatic will be eliminated.